Hey everyone, I'm Toast, the lead designer and developer of SCP InfoHazard here at Gib Games. This is the first in a series of weekly devlogs to give you insight into the game's development, as well as get your feedback on what we're doing. So let's begin. Okay, so first let's meet this individual. If you've played the InfoHazard demo, you've met them already. This fine fellow is currently called Test Monster and is used as a placeholder while we work on the behavior of anomalous creatures in the game. Seriously though, I need a better name than Test Monster, so drop some name suggestions in the comments for our cute little buddy here. Anyway, creating in-game AI is a complex thing. You've got to figure out what the creature can see, then figure out how to interpret what it can see, and then make it react by changing between states. But also, it's important that the AI's responses make sense. That's why this week, we worked on getting the test monster to open doors, sniff around for signs of its prey, and listen for distractions. We also pulled some great ideas from other horror game enemy AI, including this great trick. The monster actually moves faster when it's rendered on the screen, making it much more likely to catch up to you if you dare look back. Another thing we did this week was to expand our cutscene system we used in the Infohazard demo. Well, why do we have to be... here? What's wrong? Not used to getting blood on your stilettos. In Infohazard, we've taken an approach popularized by Valve, making many cutscenes actually happen in real time in-game. Also, do you recognize who these guys are? Does this give you a hint? Tide Green. Multiple NACL. SCP Infohazard puts the player in the shoes of D-974, a D-Class test subject and former death row inmate. When a reality-breaking cataclysm strikes the Site-97 holding facility, D-974 becomes the last surviving Foundation personnel on site. I am designed to assist the senior member of Foundation personnel following a disaster. As present, that person is you. Tasked with reactivating the site's protections against dangerous reality-bending anomalies. What's this thing? It's called the Scranton Reality Anchor. That threatened to tear the world apart, piece by piece. Well, that's it for this week, friends. Make sure to follow Infohazard on Kickstarter, play the demo on Steam, and share your thoughts and feedback. You can find all of this and more at scp.game.